In this video we're going to be taking a look at multiplication patterns with decimals and the essential question that you'll see on page 161 in your Go Math book which you will, you will need to turn to is how can patterns help you place the decimal point in a product. Now as I said you need to have your Go Math book out, turn to page 161, also have your math journal and pencil out. Now let's unlock this problem. And it says Cindy is combining equal sized rectangles from different fabric patterns to make a postage stamp quilt. Each rectangle has an area of 75 hundredths of a square inch. If she uses 1,000 rectangles to make the quilt, what will be the area of the quilt? Okay, so what we are doing here is basically you can see our multiplication problem of 1,000 times 75 hundredths. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these patterns. You have them right in your book there. Okay, so first of all, if I were to take 1 and multiply that by 75 hundredths, notice the decimal. What happens to it? It's right in front of the tenths place, to the left of the tenths place here. Nothing happens to it. We multiplied just by 1. We all know that whenever you multiply any number by 1, it is always that number. Now, taking a look at multiplying 10 times 75 hundredths. You can see that that decimal point was to the left of the tenths place. Now that decimal point, as you can see, has moved over one spot between the tenths and the hundredths place. Notice how many zeros we have. Okay, now we have 100 times 75 hundredths, and you can see that that decimal point, once again 75 hundredths, is to the left of that tenths place and you can see it move two places to the right. Okay, now you, it, it seems as though that for each increasing power of 10, you move the decimal place one, one place to the right. So increasing power of 10. So I increase my power of 10 Okay, so this is the second power of 10. That, moved at, that means I move the decimal one place to the right. This would be the first power of 10. I'm sorry, second power of 10. Move my decimal two places to the right. First power of 10, moved it one place to the right. Okay, zero power of 10. I did not move my decimal point at all. The third power of 10, move my decimal place one, two, and then I came to the end of my five. I had to add a zero three places to the right. Now taking a look at the quilt will have a total area of 750 square inches. Now as you divide by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal point change in the quotient? So let's take a look at that. So if we multiply by increasing powers of 10 and it's moving one place to the right, think about the opposite of division is multiplication there. So the decimal point moves one point to the right as I multiply by each power of 10. And mine send it, says as you divide, that should be as you multiply by increasing powers of 10. That's what it says on your book, okay? So it's important to know that as you multiply by increasing powers of 10, the decimal point mo moves one point to the right as I multiply by each power of 10. And I want you to write that down right in your math journal, a very important point. So let's look at the next, next example. It says, George is making a scale model of the Willis Tower in Chicago for a theater seat. The height of the tower is 1,353 feet. If the model is 1 100th of the actual size of the building, how tall is the model? Now, let's take a look at this. First of all, if I were to multiply 1 times 1,353, that's going to give me 1,353. Now, let's take a look at decreasing powers of 10 now. So, 1 tenth times 1,353. If we know that as we increase by powers of 10, the decimal moves that many places to the right. So, when I decrease by powers of 10, for example, 1 tenth, I'm moving my place decimal point one place to the left. Okay, decreasing by powers of 10 again, 100th. Okay, so 1,353, that decimal point is understood to be at to the right of that ones place. So what happens here is I take that one, that 1,353, I move my decimal point two places to the left, one, two, 
plop that decimal point between the 3 and the 5. Okay, so I can see that George's model of the Willis Tower is 13 and 53 hundredths feet tall, which is a still pretty tall model, but not nearly as, mall as the tall as the original model. Okay, now at the bottom of page 161, it says, as you multiply by decreasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal point change in the product? So I have the answer right there at the bottom, and I want you to copy it down and put it right in your Go Math book. It says the decimal point moves one place to the left as I multiply by the decreasing decimal place value. Okay, I want you to take a look at the problem on page 162. It says three friends are selling items at an arts and crafts fair. Josie makes $45.75 selling jewelry. Mark makes 100 times as much as Josie makes by selling his custom furniture. Chance makes a tenth of the money Mark makes by selling paintings. How much money does each friend make? Okay, so the first thing that we need to figure out, we know that Josie makes $45.75 selling jewelry, and Mark makes 100 times that much. So in order to figure out how much Mark makes, we take 100 and multiply that by $45.75. Now, what we can do here, thinking about the rule, to help us out, we know that, first of all, 1 times 475 I'm sorry, $45.75 is going to give us $45, whoops, and 75 cents. We can write that down. Now we know as we increase power by powers of 10, the decimal place moves one place to the right. So we increased the power of 10 to the first power of 10 times $4.75. $45.75, so we're going to take that decimal and move one place to the right, giving us $457.50. Okay, now multiplying $45.75 by the second power of 10, that means that we need to move this decimal two places to the right, so 1, 2 giving us a total of $4,575. Okay, now let's think of chance. Now remember, chance makes one-tenth of the money. So moving to the right part of this example too, the right side, we take one-tenth, we're going to multiply that by 4,757. $4,575. If I can get these numbers right today, that'd be great. Okay, as we think through this problem, 1 times 4,575, okay, we know that anything times 1 is going to give us $4,575. Okay, so we know that's 1. Now, what we can see here, we're going to multiply by de decreasing powers of 10. Okay, so whenever we do that, that decimal point does not move to the right with increasing powers of 10. It decreases, so that decimal point is actually understood to the right hand of that 5, moves one place to the left. Okay, so we're still multiplying it by $4,575. Okay, but that decimal point moves one place to the left for $457.50. Let's write that down. And now moving through this problem, we see that, so Josie makes $45.75. We can see that Mark makes, I'll just take these right over here. We can see that Mark makes $4,575, and because of that, we know that Chance makes $457.50. Okay, so moving along, complete the pattern with me. Okay, we have the zero power of 10 times 
four and seventy eight hundredths. Remember, that's just that whenever it's ten to the zero power, that just represents a one. One times four and seventy eight hundredths. It's going to give us four and seventy eight hundredths. Pretty easy there. Now, as we increase by powers of ten, every power of ten we increase by, we move that decimal place that many places to the right. So the first power of 10 times 4 and 78 hundredths, what we do is we take that decimal, we move it one place to the right, and we put that decimal point between the 7 and the 8, which gives us 47 and 8 tenths. Okay, moving to the next one. The second power of 10 times 4 and 78 hundredths, if we moved it one place to the right for the first power of 10, when we're multiplying, we're increasing by powers of 10, therefore we are increasing the movement of our decimal. How many places? Just to one other place value, so is between the tenths and hundredths. Now that decimal point is going to the right of the hundredths, one, two. Why two places to the right? Because we're multiplying by the second power of 10 giving us 478. Okay, then finally, third power of 10 times 4 and 78 hundredths. We're going to move this three places to the right. Why three places to the right? Because it is the third power of 10 that we're multiplying. Okay, so we have one place to the right, two places to the right. Now, when we come to the end of our digits, we still need to keep moving to the right. Okay, our decimal point all signifies being red. Okay, and what we do is we just drop a zero right in that basket. Think about an egg being dropped in that basket. Okay, um, we would not fill that space in with a one or an eight or a seven. It would always be a zero. Okay, for a total of 4,780. Okay, I want you to turn to page 163. I want you to work through this problem all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play. I will have the answers for you. And you may need to rewind the video if you need a little refresher on these patterns. So pause the video now. Okay, so you can see the answers I have here. And just keep in mind that as you move the, um, for each increasing power of 10, you move the decimal point one place to the right. So let's take a look at this next section here. Voila. And I want you to work through this pattern by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video now. OK, here are the answers for these problems. Just remember, for each decreasing power of 10, you move the decimal point one place to the left. OK, I want you to work through this test prep problem all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video, or I should say answer. So pause the video now. OK, the answer to this problem is letter D. And finishing up, how can patterns help you place the decimal point in a product? And here is the answer. I can use a pattern to determine how many places I need to move the decimal point for it, each increasing power of 10 I move the decimal point one place to the right for each decreasing power of 10 I move the decimal point one place to the left if you have any questions about multiplying multiplication patterns with decimals please come and see me